This video will show you where to find and how to download the Hot Potatoes quiz software. It will also show you how to actually write a quiz using Hot Potatoes. Then it will show you how to export it uh, so that you can import it into Moodle uh, so that it's a functioning quiz that actually exists in Moodle. The best way to think of Hot Potatoes is not so much that it's a quiz that you're actually going to give on its own. All Hot Potatoes is is the program to actually write the quiz. Or, in this case, if you have a quiz already written in Word, basically you'll just be copying and pasting it into Hot Potatoes. What Hot Potatoes does is it allows teachers to not have to rewrite uh, their quizzes. It's, it's a bit of a time saver that way. Uh, but there are a few steps to, to using it that we'll go over at this time. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to download the quiz. There is a link uh, located in the Moodle course um, right above this video, uh, but if you want to do it this way, that's fine as well. Just Google Hot Potatoes. It's the first result that comes up. Click on that. Here you have some options. You're just going to want to go to Downloads and click this link. When you click this link, and I'm not actually going to do it because I already have it installed, just continue doing what it's asking you to do. Um, if it asks you to, to run, just run. Uh, pretty much standard installation uh, process there. Once you've done that, you'll see a desktop icon that looks like this. Uh, it's black. It's a hand holding a potato. Um, go ahead and open that up by double clicking on it. You'll, you'll see some options here. You'll see J-Quiz, J-Close, J-Cross, um, uh, J-Match, so on and so forth. Um, there are a number of different uh, quiz options that you have using Hot Potatoes. However, Moodle does a good job at um, creating everything but the multiple choice quizzes. So I would recommend, and if you want to play with it, that's fine, and, and find other ways to do things. But I would recommend just using the J-Quiz in the Hot Potato software. Again, you got to think of this as we're going to actually write the quiz before we install it or put it into Moodle uh, so it's a usable quiz. So again, I'm just going to click on JQuiz. And what you're going to get is something that looks like this. Okay, let's talk about what this is for a minute. Title right here, this is the title of the quiz. Q1 is question number one, and this is where you put the actual question. Then you have A, B, C, and D. Uh, you can get more options by clicking this button up or down. If you only want to use A and B and not C or D, then just don't put anything in that option. So I'm gonna t I might title this. Let's title this sample quiz. Uh, the first question uh, could be something like. What day is it today? My options are Okay, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay. It happens to be Monday today, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and click correct. Okay? This will tell Moodle and hot potatoes that this is the answer that I'm accepting is correct. Um, so I have my question here, what day is it today? What is it today? Um, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and I'm selecting Monday as a correct option. Now here's a, a bit of a tip or a note. Uh, when you're writing your quiz, um, I found that it's easier to put the correct answer in A all the time. That helps, it's helped me keep track of um, to make sure I have the right answers in there, to make sure that everything's organized the way that I want it. Um, the reason why you can put A every time is because Moodle allows you to shuffle the questions and then shuffle the answers within the questions. So even though it's A in the hot potato software, once you put it into Moodle, you're going to shuffle that around and it'll change it up anyway. So it's, it's up to you however you want to do it. I found that uh, to be helpful. Okay, so you would go on and continue writing um, questions. The way to get to a new question here is just to click up, brings me to question number two, and I repeat this process. Now, 
nice thing about this is if you have a um, quiz already in Word, you can very quickly copy and paste your questions here and your answers here. Um, it's a little bit of work on the front end, but again, once you've done this, you never have to mess with it again other than to change some questions or whatever it is you might want to do with that. Okay, I'm going to minimize this right now, and I'm going to open up a quiz that's already been uh, completely written. In this case, it's the World History uh, Semester 1 Final. As you can see, I have a question here, answers here, correct answer selected here. In addition to that, let me point this out, you can provide feedback. Um, so if a student, you could put a, something as simple as correct, or in your um, distractors, you could put what the correct answer would be or explain why, who, what this was actually, uh, this answer actually refers to, however you want to use it. There's a feedback option there. Okay. Once you've written your quiz, and as you can see, I've, I think I have 40 questions in this. Uh, once you've written your quiz, there's one more thing you have to do before you can import it. And what this does is it eliminates uh, some, some uh, uh, cleanup issues, I guess, uh, with the import. So what you have to do is go to File, Export for Web CT, Export for Web CT. Just find a spot. In this case, I'm going to put it on the desktop. I suggest naming the web CT. This document you're going to create the same as a quiz. So I'm just going to call it that. And I'll save it. Now, once I do that, you can see this document showing up here. Don't worry about what it says on it. I'll open it up for you. It, it's kind of it just has the questions in a, in a different format. All you need to know is that you now have this and it's ready for import. Okay, so to summarize, once you've downloaded Hot Potatoes, you want to go to JQuiz. When you go to JQuiz, you're going to get something that looks like this. Name your quiz here. Put your questions in here. Your answers and distractors in here. Be sure to click which one is correct. If you like, feel free to provide feedback. The main thing we're going to use hot potatoes for is just to write the multiple choice questions. Be sure, after you've written your quiz, that you go to File, Export for Web CT. When you do that, you're going to get this document, and this is the document you're actually going to import into Moodle, which we will cover in the next video. This video has been how to download and write a quiz using Hot Potatoes.